First of all, um, what drew each of you to this project? What drew each of us to the project? I think um, originally reading the size of the audition, um, it, it, at least for, for, for Mason and, I, and, and Christian, it was very complex and deep and there was a lot of emotion attached to it when it, the title was Vampire Academy and it's a vampire show. There was a lot of deep heart and I think that's originally what drew me to the whole project is the heart to it. Um, and then obviously as, start, as stuff started to pick up and we, we started getting the parts and everything started to unfold, um, that, that ended up being very, very true is I think the show has a lot of heart. I think uh, I've still got my email to my, well, I'll save it in my drafts, <laughs> to my, uh, my agent. I see it come through a similar thing. I'm like, whoa, this is cool. I really want to bleep bleep play this. Like, and then I did my research before the audition, and um, I was like, oh my god, I've seen the movie. I went to the cinemas to see the film, so I, I had that in my brain, like a memory unlocked. Um, remember at first thinking like, whoa, it's a big character to say, on, I'm probably <laughs> not going to be seen for this, dude. But I'll try my best um, and have look as luck would have it. Uh, it came along, and then. Then the real work started. I got invested in the books and uh, yeah. read the first few as we started to uh, to prepare for the roles. And um, yeah, I was hooked. I was hooked. And then our beautiful writing team have run away with that story. And yeah, yeah. We're lucky to tell it. Um, what drew me to the show? Desperation. No, <laughs> uh, you know what? Like, I think these guys have worded it perfectly. Um, I, Christian is. Even through the sides, he was just such a complex character. And I knew there were going to be a lot of layers to him. And there's going to be a lot of opportunities to explore that within the acting and within the show as well. Um, also said Spain, which I yeah. thought was... Yeah, that was a big I win. Mean, that's, a, that's a big win. I think right we all there. thought we were going to a warmer part of Spain. <laughs> Yeah. Interesting. I was like, I'm getting my swim shorts out. My agent was like, Do you know where you're going? Yeah. I was like, Oh, okay. I'm the most tan vampire in the history of vampires. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, how was shooting in Spain like for you guys? It was a nice segue. It was wonderful. Yeah. I think it comes with its own challenges. We shot towards the back end of a pandemic, um, which was, again, more than. I think everyone was just so fortunate. We were also appreciative of the experience to be doing what we love uh, on such a huge scale in. A, a place, a town in Spain I never would have ever heard of. Uh, I never would have heard of. Um, <laughs> so, sorry, I can say like, like a whale, I apologise. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, in itself, it was just such a good experience. We, we really got the opportunity to be around the locations, like I think the castle is behind us currently, um, and we got to stand there, live and breathe this whole world. Yeah. And there's an element of, oh, I don't have to act. I'm just, I'm living and breathing this experience. And yeah. it's a memory for a lifetime. That yeah. time we lived in Spain. That know? time we yeah. lived in <clears throat> Spain, yeah, and it was the Spanish culture also was so beautiful, and we were in the Basque country, so the north of Spain, and 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 that is also very different from Barcelona or Madrid or something like that. So that was a, a, a an interesting experience as well, throwing yourself into into that. I, I'm from LA, you know, I. I <laughs> Very different experience for me to go to Spain, Pamplona, and live there. And that was also the first time that I was really um, completely away from all family and everything like that. So it was a big, big... Um, and then you got a new one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then, yeah, I, yeah, then yeah. I got oh, new yeah. brothers. Yeah, um, we looked after you. But yeah, so it, it, was, it was beautiful. It was amazing. And, and it, was, it was really a joy. Did you have to do any particular research into vampires or was that something that already interested you beforehand? Oh no, I'm a big vampire fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be honest, I love vampire stuff. I know it's just something that I grew up with. Um, I guess it's a big influence. I think there's a, probably an element of desire there. It's just a life that excites me and I, we're lucky enough to tell it through film. So when this opportunity landed in front of me it's like oh i'm gonna go to even though i don't have fangs right so like i missed yeah, that a little bit i got halfway there i got half <laughs> vampire um but like uh you know just seeing these people just being part of this thing that younger kieran would have pinched himself at. it's quite yeah it's yeah very fortunate i think what's great about our show too is like we are vampires but at the essence it's a human story that we're yeah absolutely telling. There's, yeah. A, there's a veil of fantasy this vampire world which we uh, we use to be able to discuss and sort of unpick like modern issues, real world issues. And yeah. I think that's going to draw people in when they watch it, hopefully. Yeah. Totally. Um, I, I wasn't a big vampire fan. So what? yeah, I know, I know. But, uh, so I had to do once I 
once I actually, actually once I got the call back, I just started. I started watching Vampire Diaries. I watched all of that. I did all the Twilights. Um, yeah, I did a whole vampire like. Here's what you gotta know. So, um, yeah, I really threw myself in. I guess you could say. Know what I'm stepping into. Um, the world's quite different, though, right? Yeah, and that's the thing too that was kind of beautiful is like even reading the scripts and everything, and 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 the sides. Like I don't. I, I think we are very different from from all these other vampire shows and films that are out now. Um, there's a I world think, that we just give you, right? And I think that's like yeah. There's no, there's no, there's no apology. There's no explanation. It's just we, we, you will find yourself immersed in this world, and I think it will be something that creates um, an intrigue for the audience. It's like, oh, we've never, we've seen vampires. Yeah. Never seen this kind of story before. Yeah. Um, except from obviously um, from the books themselves. Um, so yeah, no. What a world. We, we vampires get to like live within our vampire world with, like you said, no yeah. apology. Yeah. You know, we don't have to hide anything from humans. And yeah, so it's, it is a different kind of scenario and setting that we're placing. I think that's going to be really interesting as well. Yeah. And now you're a fan Thank of vampires. You. Yeah, exactly. now he is. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much for taking your time to speak with us. Thank, Thank you. For Thank us. you. Have a lovely day. Yeah. You as well.